Um, so the question is, do we have great vintages or, or lesser vintages? And um, sparkling wine is harvested earlier than most still wines. That is what we call red wines or white wines. So sparkling wine is harvested earlier. Um, and as a result, a lot of the vagaries of um, harvest are avoided. We, we pick early, we very seldom um, have rain or rot. Um, actually, only once in the last 40 years that I've been in the business have I seen actually rot in Chardonnay during the harvest for sparkling wine. That was 1982, a couple of years ago. Um, so sparkling wine gets picked early and so we get very consistent vintages and also because the Carneros is coastal with just uh, on top of the San Pablo uh, Bay and so we're a marine climate and so we're consistently um, in a range of, of temperatures. Now there's a little, there is variation but not huge variations that you might find in other uh, Appalachians. For instance, Champagne and Burgundy are inland, and so they have good years and they have lousy years. Um, Carneros, because of the, the coastal nature of the Carneros, we have um, excellent years and very good years. We really don't have bad years. Um, people say, oh, you must have bad years. Well, we really don't. Um, and sometimes, you know, uh, this year, 18 was a very nice vintage. Um, but I could tell you the same of the 17 and the 16. We really have not had def difficult vintages um, in, a, in a very long time. Uh, de of course, difficult vintages create an opportunity for um, tr figuring out things, how, how you make it better, how you're gonna deal with it, this uh, situation. But I haven't been challenged that way very often because of the quality in the Appalachian and the early picking.